Hey everybody, I am back on the beaches. Last time I went to the beach, I was actually very pushed on time. Today, I've got a little bit more time, so I'm gonna... I was trying to see where everything's... I'm, I'm currently stood on the thing. Um, <laughs> trying to see where the most seaweed and stuff is. And it's pretty clean up this side, so I'm gonna go further down that way. Whoa, whoa, woohoo! I nearly fell over. <laughs> there we go, this looks safe. Ah, oh, just just like a treadmill, you'd never know the difference. Oh, we have a cross trainer. This stuff looks new. Oh yeah, that's that. That's, yeah, that's it. Ah! It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Since I started making clocks again, the cramps are coming back into my hip from to do with my back. But it's fine. It's manageable comparatively. As long as I don't do stupid things like that. Anyway, to the next beach. Right, well, I've parked up there a little ways. Walk down this way and see what we can find. There's a lot of sea squirts still. I've got a second camera with me, so if you see something interesting, I'll, I'll show you close up. That'll be handy. This stick will be my winning wand. Tell me where the good things are. What have we got? It's a piece of plastic. Where's the treasure? Show me treasure. If you didn't know what video this was, we are beach combing. Yeah. Yeah, that just happened. Where's my treasure? Sea squirts. More sea squirts. Um. That's a, um, a fishing thing. You gra it's of grabbing fish's faces. You like put that through its lip and then close it. Has it got something? Oh, it's got an unscrewable bottom. I left the spring. Oh, okay. Bit of WD-40, that work fine. What's this? Uh, Oh great, a, uh, a large syringe. No needle, thankfully. Right, we can do away with this stick now. Or it can come back. This is a raised egg casing. I showed you one of these before. Also known as mermaid's purses. It's like a basic egg. And the uh, thing forms inside. And I think I saw another one. Yeah, here. And that's a dogfish. I showed you in the last video. But you didn't get to see them up close. Same thing, egg case. Yeah. If you ever see those, it's not seaweed. As I didn't give you a close look at the sea squirts before, this is literally just everywhere coated with these things. As previously mentioned, they're called sea squirts because... But yeah, there is just hundreds and thousands of them all the way along here. There's also lots of this which is uh, some form of sea sponge. That's weird, you can sort of, it almost looks like broccoli. Sea broccoli. Oh. No, you don't. We've, um, we've got a bit of a storm on the way. I might be getting wet soon, but I'm not giving up if it happens. Okay, this is pretty interesting. I just saw this, which is obviously another bit of sponge, but on the underneath, can you see that? That is a very small type of crab that's obviously had this on top of his body. It looks like a spider crab almost. And he's had this on top of his body as camouflage. That is, that's an Afro crab. That's pretty amazing. It's a pretty big cockle. I'm not sure if that is a cockle actually. It's a bit too rounded. Keep that one for the shelf. Oh, this rain's going to get bad, I get the feeling. That's a conker. Is that a conker? Is that one of those sea beans? It looks like a conker. I'm keeping that. Oh shit. Um. Batten down the hatches. We are going to get wet. We will continue. Sod the rain. 
We're gonna get wet, we're gonna get wet. And for persevering on in the rain, please leave a like. <laughs> it's not funny. I cannot believe how many sea squirts there are. And I keep going on about this. There is thousands of them. But there's nothing else. It's a stone with a hole in it. And the stone that's probably been making said hole. Yeah, they, uh, a stone gets, starts whirring away into it and then it wedges its way in and it just carves out a hole. Oops, I broke it. Right, well join me at the next location. I'm going to go further down the coast, maybe three quarters of a mile. Oh God. Oh Jesus. You better like this video and maybe consider supporting my channel. I'm getting soaked to the skin for your enjoyment. Oh Christ. Um, run. I need to get behind a building. Really quickly. Jesus, please, please, please give me some shelter behind this building. Oh my god, the hell was that? It is coming in at an angle, so I do seem to be okay here. It's quite nice actually, it's quite relaxing. Not in the rain, but well, a little bit. I've been sat here for some 20 minutes. It's not stopped raining, so sod it. We're gonna get wet. Oh, hello, wet grass. Starting to regret this decision slightly, but it's okay. Sweet Jesus. What is that? A bit of some sort of basket or something and a fishing weight and stuff. Well, you can deal with that, please. Ow. Oh, cramps the back of my leg. Oh, it really smells here now. It smells like, yeah, look, they're fish bones. Okay, so what I found just now that was really weird is this. And I thought, let's try and get some light on it thought, is that, is it going to focus? I thought, is that like a stone? But it's squidgy. It's almost like it's a another type of sea squirt, but really different, in different colours. The other thing, uh, yeah, well, so just now, some fish bones. See, fish bones. This is just a carpet of sea squirts. But... It's not just sea squirts, because the other thing was this. Let's find a pokey stick. See this? It's alive! It's a sea anemone. It's come on, stuck off its rock, and he's still alive, so he is getting saved. I hope. <laughs> he's got a better chance of living in the sea than he has on the land, so best of luck, mate. Oh, the smell, the smell, it's so bad. It's a couple of days worth of detritus being washed out of the sea and it's sat here in the sun. A small spider crab shell. Oh, look who it is! Ah, oh, hello, Clemmy here again. Time to subscribe. <laughs> What is that? Oh, acorns. God knows how long they've been in the sea. I am slightly concerned because there is a thunderstorm risk today. And that looks a lot like a thunderstorm. It's not very dark though, so I'm not too worried. But I am on a beach kind of exposed. But then if I've got wet leather on me, the more chance is that it's going to conduct around me and through to the ground, right? Probably not. Oh God. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm already soaked anyway, so it can't get me much worse. Oh, there we go, you got there. Uh, that's the egg cases from a clam. If you can see it. I was like, it's a bottle. It's got a message in it. And then I realised it was a couple of fag ends. 
very round looking. Oh, because it is very round. It's oh, it's a toggle off of a of a rope of some sort. What the hell is that? I am still none the wiser. Orange lighter. I'll chuck these plastic bits I can carry in the bin. It's not a proper spicy beach video if we don't wang a big piece of wood. Is it going to surf? Yeah, it is! But you can't see, it's too far away. That is a fired primer out of a flare, I assume. Okay, well, let me find something between here and there. I'm calling it because I'm getting soaked. There goes a few less bits on the beach. Well, thank you for joining me. You can't always be sure to find amazing things, but if we keep doing this as the winter goes on, we'll find some things for sure. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.